What is water potential? I'm Mr. W from learn-biology.com where we believe that if you're really going to learn AP Bio, you've got to interact and get feedback. That's what happens on learn-biology.com. We're so sure of that, that your subscription comes with a money back guarantee. Water potential is a concept that's really closely related to osmosis and osmotic pressure, but it's more quantitative. The symbol for water potential is this Greek letter, psi. So water potential is a measurement of water's tendency to move from where it is to where it's not. Adding solute decreases a body of water's water potential. Adding pressure increases water potential. And water will flow from areas of higher water potential to areas of lower potential. So if you look at this device over here, it's called a U-tube. And um, these two parts are separated by a membrane that's permeable to water, but not to the solute. So here we are, we're adding a solute to this side of the U-tube. That makes this side hypotonic, but that's another way that you can say it has higher water potential and water is going to move from higher water potential to lower water potential that's going to force up the level of water over here that's going to lower it over here could you have explained this entire thing with just hypotonic and hypertonic well i just did but you'll see that water potential is more quantitative and it allows for other factors to be included such as pressure at learn-biology.com, we understand why students struggle with AP Bio. It's a hard course, but we have a plan for your success. Go to learn-biology.com, sign up for a free trial, and complete our interactive tutorials and interactive AP Bio exam reviews. We guarantee you a four or a five on the AP Bio exam. See you on learn-biology.com. Explain the formula for water potential. Here it is over here. In plain English, it's water potential equals solute potential plus pressure potential. So psi is water potential. Psi sub s is solute potential. And remember that adding solute to water decreases its water potential. Psi p is pressure potential. And adding pressure, like if you pressed on a syringe, that increases water potential. So let's look at these two examples over here. So we've added solute to this side of the U-tube. Pressure potential is zero. There's nothing pressing down on either side, but adding solute lowered the solute potential over here to negative 0.23 megapascals, and that's the unit that's used for pressure. So the total water potential over here is minus 0.23 megapascals. The Water potential over here is just zero. There's no pressure, there's no solute. So water moves from higher water potential to lower water potential. That's why it's moving from this side of the U-tube to this side. In this example, we have a potato cell or potato tissue that's been placed in water. And so again, there's no pressure on either side. It's just an open container, but the cell has a negative 1.0 megapascal solute potential. So the total water potential is negative 1.0. This is just water. So the water potential is zero over here. Water moves from the beaker into the cell, which has a lower water potential. And that's causing water to flow into the cell. It's causing the cell to expand. All of these things related to the cell wall. In a typical lab in AP Biology, you put potato tissue into water or solutions of various concentration. And you can see what happens and you can actually quantify it based on water potential. That's what water potential is used for. Want to learn more? Sign up for a free trial of the website that guarantees your AP Biology success, learn-biology.com, and watch this next video.